Shock is most commonly caused due to hypotension, which is a systolic blood pressure less than 90 mm mercury or a mean arterial pressure less than 65 mm mercury that leads to inadequate tissue perfusion and injury to various organ systems like the brain, heart, kidneys and liver. If left untreated, shock can cause irreversible multi-organ failure and death. Shock results from decreased cardiac output or decreased systemic vascular resistance. There are four main types of shock. Hypovolemic shock, distributive shock, obstructive shock and cardiogenic shock. Dear viewers, let us now discuss all these types one by one. Number one, hypovolemic shock is caused by a critical decrease in intravascular volume. Common causes are bleeding, typically due to trauma, surgical interventions, peptic ulcers, esophageal varices, or ruptured aortic aneurysm. Number two, distributive shock. Results from a relative inadequacy of intravascular volume caused by arterial or venous vasodilation in distributive shock circulating blood volume is normal. It is further subdivided into anaphylactic shock, neurogenic shock, and septic shock. Next is cardiogenic shock. So cardiogenic shock is caused by relative or absolute reduction in cardiac output due to a primary cardiac disorder. Lastly, obstructive shock is caused by mechanical factors that interfere with filling or emptying of the heart or larger blood vessels. Let us discuss about the diagnosis of shock. So initial investigations include a CBC, blood urea, nitrogen and creatinine levels lactate and arterial blood gas analysis, troponin and VNP levels, and an ECG. If septic shock is suspected, blood cultures are urinalysis and a chest x-ray are done to look for a source of infection. So dear viewers, now we are moving towards the treatment options of all the four types of shocks that we have discussed in this video. Hypovolemic shock is treated with fluid and blood transfusion if it's hemorrhagic. Obstructive shock is treated by treating the underlying cause such as pericardial tamponade and pulmonary embolism. Cardiogenic shock is treated with inotropes like dobutamine, mechanical devices like an intra-aortic balloon pump and percutaneous coronary catheterization if a myocardial infarction is the cause. Septic shock is treated with empiric broad-spectrum antibiotics, vasopressors like norepinephrine and vasopressin, and if they fail, then glucocorticoids and inotropes may be added. Lastly, anaphylactic shock is treated with intramuscular epinephrine, airway management, and medications like antihistamines and glucocorticoids. So, dear viewers, that was all about the different types of shocks their diagnosis and their treatment options. I hope you like this video informative. For more amazing stuff like this, keep watching Pharmacy D by Asim. Also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. The links are given below in the description. Thank you so much.